Good morning, boaters. This is Brian from Boat Canvas Factory. I'm so excited about this video I'm about to show you today. I've been waiting to do it. I'm getting goosebumps, that's how excited I am. I've been waiting to do this video for over a year, a running video with one of my sunshades. I have my daughter, Brooke, from uh, Brooke Christ Outdoors on the camera. I got Victor from Landshark Outdoors. He's gonna run a drone for us today. You know, it's so hard to get me, the owner of the boat, Brooke, Victor, and the weather to all cooperate. That's why I've been waiting so long for this video, so I'm just so excited. I can't help myself. All right, so this is a four pole bow shade on a brand new 335 Everglades. So this is gonna also be my first time ever going on a sea trial on a 335 Everglades, so I'm, I'm very excited about that as well. So if you see the labeling, see how there's two different length poles? We have 51 inch poles in the bow, and to have a nice, even, you know, pitch, I have 54 inch poles in the middle. So I put the blue sticker, and I also have blue stickers on these poles so you know which pole goes in which bag because they're very similar in size. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So you pull the, stain, the 316 stainless steel pole out. So I put a blue sticker on the pole that goes in the bag with the blue sticker. So I'm gonna put that right in this forward rod holder. That's a, a Mate Series 15 degree combination cup rod holder. That's what Everglades uses. That's also what, what I use no matter what boat I'm working on. So I'm gonna also show you, we installed these rod holders. Uh, my son Fisher, is uh, he's really, really good at installing rod holders. This is Mate Series combination 15 degree rod holder with a backing plate. And the funny thing is we installed that rod holder with a backing plate with no access. Um, if ever you need to do that, you can call me and I'll tell you about it. It's a, a really cool U-shaped backing plate. So you drill the hole and you don't need to get any wrenches in there because it's a U-shape. You get your backing plate in, in the hole and then there's bolts welded to the bottom of the backing plate and you tighten it down from the top. So you have a backing plate with no access. Very, very ingenious. MateSeries.com. And if you buy MateSeries.com rod holders and you type in Canvas Factory, that's a 20% promotion code. You see you get nice protective padded bags for those nice stainless steel poles to keep them shiny and new. You also get a bag for the canvas because it's it, this one happens to be white canvas. And if you put that in a dirty storage area, it's going to get dirty. So who cares about the bag? Throw that in any you know dirty area, kick it around, who cares? The bag is there to take the brunt of it. Okay, we just went for uh, an exhilarating sea trial on this uh, 335 Everglades and it, it, was, it was amazing. So I'm going to do a timed setup. We're out in the ocean now. Just to show you, you know, we were going 46 miles an hour. You don't want to go 46 miles an hour with this sunshade up. But if you want to go 46 miles an hour, you could take it down, bag it, and I'm going to show you just how quick you can do that. So you, you ready to time it, Brooke? And start. Okay, here it goes. So you pull it out of the bag, and it's got these quick release mounts, one on each end. So I'm going to start with this side here. You can just kind of feel up there where the hole is and click it in. It's that easy. And then come over to this side, feel for the, the hole, click it in. That easy. I like to start with the front. So you can come up here put it in the pulley, stick it in the cam cleat, pull it tight. Come over here, put it in the pulley, stick it in the cam cleat, pull it tight. I like to take these and wrap them around. It just looks nice and nautical and neat. And if you do it on top of the cam cleat, it won't slide down the pole. 
just like that nice and neat like that okay now this is a four pole sunshade it's eight feet wide it's four feet wide in the bow six feet wide at the hard top so if you were to get a two pole this would be the amount of shade the four pole adds this shade besides that it adds a certain amount of stability pulling not just forward and aft but pulling from side to side as well gives you a lot more stability as well as shade okay now come to this side do the last pulley like so pull it tight okay now what I want to do is I want to video so to tie it up put it up two minutes 25 seconds two minutes and 25 seconds to put it up so if you want to blast 45 miles an hour take it down put it back up in two minutes and 25 seconds what I want to do is slowly go up in speed and see how this shade handles underway so we're ready to start that now right now we're just going um, looks like uh, well we're not going at all yet we're just we're just going four miles an hour all right let's see what it does at 10 okay this is 10 miles an hour I don't notice anything it's as if we were sitting at the dock the sunshade is just still let's try uh, 15 right now we're at 15 miles an hour and you got to realize this is an 11 foot shade eight feet wide and look at it 15 miles an hour nothing okay let's try uh, to bump it up a little bit let's try and bump her to 18 That's 18 miles an hour. Let's keep going. Let's take her to 20. Okay, that's 20 miles an hour. That's what I usually tell people you could uh, you could run my sunshade at. But it looks to me, what are we doing now? That's 22. That's 22. Let's take her to 25. Five miles an hour, show it right here. That's uh, 20, 25 miles an hour. The digital is right there. And look at the shade. Let's pump up. Let's pump up a little bit. I think that's a safe speed. What do you think, Brooke? Can we go any faster? Let's show it at 28. Let's slow it down now. Way down. Let's, let's let's slow it way down. So I could so I could talk. Let's go real slow. Okay. So we just ran an 11 foot sunshade at 28 miles an hour. I think that's faster than you really need to go. Okay. I. People call me and say, how fast can I go? And usually I don't have the perfect answer. Well, now I do. Okay, we went 28. 
it was billowing at 28. It, it, it was not stressing my shade, but I, I don't know. I, I don't feel like you need to go that. It, the boat, this boat gets on plane at like 20. So if you're going down the intercoastal, you're not going 20 miles an hour. And if you're cruising out in the ocean with a lot of people, 20 miles an hour um, it is perfect. But we just went 28. Now it's a nice day. We did not have a 10 knot headwind. If we had a 10 knot headwind, maybe you could only go 15. If you had a 10 knot trailing wind, maybe you could go 35. So there's an example of my shade going 25, 28 miles an hour. Now I want to show you something else that this shade does. This, this customer um, got lucky. His shade does all the tricks. I want to show you that right now because the sun's always coming to get you. This sea trial is happening at 9 o'clock in the morning, so the sun is at a, a real low angle. But say you're out and the sun starts to set, watch this. You can take it out of this top pulley and see my cam cleat? This is a racing cam cleat actually has another pulley. Now watch what this can do. Okay? That just changed the shade line in the boat. I can't promise you that your shade's going to do this. It's all about the geometry of the width, the length, the shape. Sometimes they do all the tricks, sometimes they do some tricks. This is a nice trick. Now, I like to tell people there's only two things you could do to hurt my shade. One, put it away wet and salty. If you do that for weeks on end, it's going to get moldy and mold's hard to get out of canvas. The other thing I tell people that you can't do or you could hurt it is leave it up in the rain. It would puddle hundreds of pounds of water. You can't, it's, it's a sunshade, it's not really for rain. But guess what? If you were at a sandbar with your family on this particular shade and it started raining, I'm so, ex I'm so excited to, sh sorry about that bro. Okay, now, we've got two sides of the shade down. I'm six foot three, I still have headroom. But look what we've created, okay? Now, if you were in the rain, and you dropped both these sides, and you have to play with it, you know, to make sure as you adjust things, you have to tighten different pulleys to get it to look right. But the water's gonna run off here. Now, you can't, you can't run the boat like this but let me show you, if you were in a bad rainstorm, you had a lot of kids on board and uh, you know too many people to hide under the T-top, even though this is a very large T-top, watch this. Okay. So when I normally say you cannot leave a sunshade up in the rain because they're, you know, they're relatively flat, you could this one. Look at the pitch. The water's going to run off like Niagara Falls. Besides that, this is a sitting area. Look at the headroom I have. I've created more shade. This sunshade does all the tricks. Up, low, low one side, low just the front. All four can be lowered. I love this shade. I'm so excited about this video. And like I said, I cannot promise you that your shade will do this. I don't know what it is. 50% of them, you can lower them all. Sometimes the, the angles don't work and it doesn't pull tight. I wanted to thank the, uh, the future owner of this boat and his wife for um, taking the time to, to let us make this video on their brand new boat. And I'd also like that Rob, Rob, Yes, sir. I would also like to um, thank Rob. He's a very experienced boat salesman from Sundance Marine in Pompano. So if you're looking for an Everglades, there's the guy. He knows everything you need to know about a, an Everglades and the ride and, and the quality. So that's Sundance Marine in Pompano. Ask for Rob. And uh, that's, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, any questions, feel free to call me. I'll answer any of your questions. I'd rather talk about boats than work, so 
don't be afraid to call me. All of our information will be listed in the description down below. Thanks again. Canvas Factory is located in Pompano Beach, Florida. We have been in business since 1985 and we take pride in our quality custom work. For more pictures, you can visit our website, BoatCanvasFactory.com. The link will also be in the description. We specialize in T-tops, Biminis, full boat covers, engine covers, sunshades for both the forward and aft of your boat, windshield back covers, bolsters and cushions, helm seat covers, consoles slash instrument covers, enclosures of all sizes including acrylic panels, as well as eyes and glass panels that you can roll up. We also do repairs as well as waterproof your old canvas if the waterproofing has worn out, as well as much, much more. For example, custom barbecue covers, carpet, as well as carpet runners. Give us a call and let us manufacture you in an effective and attractive custom work of art for your boat. You can find further contact information in the description.